I'm here today on Eight Mile Brook, trying my luck at another 10 minute challenge episode. Fine brookies in this stream for certain. Whoa, took the dry, took the dry. What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Connecticut Angler. Now I may be getting a little daring here but I'm actually out trying my luck at another 10 minute challenge episode. You know my last 10 minute challenge was my greatest success. Two fish in less than 10 minutes on Northfield Brook. Maybe I'm pressing my luck by trying to pull off another 10 minute challenge for my very next episode but I'm gonna give it a shot nonetheless. Now I'm here today on Eight Mile Brook also in New Haven County, Connecticut. And we're gonna see what we could do on this stream here. Now, if you're new to the channel or you just need a refresher, the goal of these 10 minute challenge videos is to try to demonstrate what can be done on short order on Connecticut streams. So the goal here is I'm gonna start a timer before I even make my first cast. And from the moment I make my first cast, I have just 10 minutes to try to catch at least one fish. Now, I have never caught a fish in Eight Mile Brook before. I'm going into this pretty much blind. I've got my three weight here. I'm going to be running a dry dropper rig. Seems like it's moving awfully fast for a dry dropper rig, but um, that's what I'm gonna go with for right now. Uh, I am allowed to change flies within the course of the 10 minutes if I want to, but that does eat up a little bit of time. But anyway, we're gonna cut it off here. I'm gonna start that timer and let's see what we could do. All right, guys, our timer has begun. Let's do it. Now, the first area that I'm seeing that I wanna focus on here is this pool. It's important to remember though, that walking past the, first, the fast water is not necessarily a good idea. If you guys didn't see my last 10 minute challenge on Northfield Brook, check that video out because I was pulling a lot of fish out of fast riffles that were scarcely a foot deep. The sorts of places where you might not automatically expect to, uh, to be finding trout, but in fact, they were holding there. So it doesn't always pay to go past the fast water on a whim. But in this particular case, I do think the pool presents better chances, especially with the dry dropper rig that I'm running now. So this looks like a pretty nice pool here. Running an Alcare Caddis up top, a waltz worm, sexy waltz down below. Let's uh, put it out there and see what we could do, guys. We don't have a lot of time on the clock, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this stream, or on, at this spot, rather. If nothing hits straight away within, you know, the first five or six casts, maybe, I'm going to be moving along. I think I'm casting a little bit too far out of the seam here. There we go. There's gonna be fish. They're gonna be right in this seam. Oh. My dry fly drowned there. It looks like it was just stuck on a rock. Whoa, whoa, took the dry, took the dry. All right. Took that elk caddis. Now we just gotta get this fish in. It doesn't count unless I bring it to the net. It's a brookie. It's a brookie. Oh, all right, guys, we got him. That brookie took that dry, smashed it right off the top. How cool is that? That is what I am talking about, guys. And let's see what kind of time we got here. 717, we've gotten our first fish in what, three minutes, guys? Not bad at all. Okay. You can see that brookie just smashed that elk hair caddis. An absolutely beautiful fish. Let's get him back in the water and see if there's anything else out here. All right, guys, another successful 10 minute challenge. Not bad. We have a little bit 
More than five minutes left though. Let's get those flies right back out there, see if we can get anything else. There is a major emergence of insects going on right now. There's insects fluttering all around me. I'm really excited to see if we can get another take on that dry fly. I've already seen another fish rise over there, but we have to get back to it because we are on a time crunch. All right, here we go, guys. Got it right back out there in the seam. Oh, dry fly lurched a little bit there, but it looks like if something did hit, it spat it quick, quicker than I could possibly have set the hook. Oh, I just saw another fish take on the top. Guys, got another one. Got another one. Nice fish. Nice fish. This one's got a little bit more size for sure. Oh yeah. This one's definitely got more size. No question about it. No question about it. Ooh, nice size rookie. Nice size rookie. He's struggling. This fish took the uh, sexy waltz. This fish is putting up one hell of a fight. It is a nice rookie. Really nice rookie. All right, look at that. Look at that. Let's see here. Where are we on the clock? Two minutes and 18 seconds remaining. And we've gotten two fish now. Just a beautiful brookie. Let's get him right back in the water. And he's right, right back in there. Let's see here. We got one minute left in the clock. Can we hook one more fish? Let's find out. Definitely have less than a minute. We're probably down to our last 30 seconds here. We got one to take on the dry, guys. We got one to take on the dry. This is our third fish, and I think, I think I can get him netted in time for this to be three in just 10 minutes. We got him. We got him. Let's see where we are in the timer. Let's see here. Oh no, our timer gave out. Damn. Okay guys, I'm actually uh, having trouble. My flies are tangled up in my net here. So I'm just gonna let this brookie go straight away. Another beautiful little brookie. Very wily fish. Buddy, I'm trying to get you out of here. Get him right back in there. Okay. All right guys, well, three fish. I, I swear I must have just turned the timer app off because I could have sworn I got that last fish with a uh, Within the one minute that I saw when I had originally put my phone away, I'll have to actually check, you know, how the time plays out on the, on the recorded clip because that'll let me know for certain. But I think I got three within the 10 minutes, but let's just say I got the two. Still a wildly successful 10 minute challenge for certain. Uh, it looks like we probably have some, uh, some stalkers that have hold up in this little area and they are just going crazy hitting a lot of these bugs on the surface they're taking nymphs down below um i really haven't had a visual on any of these fish but they're definitely out there they're definitely out in this pool and out in the riffle portion of the pool as well um so i'm gonna put the dry dropper right back out there see if we can nab anything else here and then maybe we'll uh, slowly start working our way upstream i don't have a huge amount of time today but i definitely have enough time to see if i can nab a few more fish for certain I think I'm going to change my nymph as well. We're going to go with, uh, hmm. 
You know, I've had such good luck on the good old pheasant tails lately that I think I'm going with the pheasant tail again. This is like a size 16 pheasant tail, I believe. Not a flashback, just a regular pheasant tail. So they've already taken an elk hair caddis. They've already taken a uh, sexy waltz. Let's see what they think of the pheasant tail. Got one, guys. Got one. Nice fish. Nice fish. Took the uh, took the nymph. All right, guys. First rainbow. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's cast it up there. Almost towards the head of the pool. Just trying to skirt around the eddy at the seam there. Oh, got one. Ooh, nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Could be a, there's a stone fight crawling on my arm. All right, guys. Beautiful, beautiful brookie. You know, I actually uh, checked my phone right quick just to see if I had any uh, text that I needed to attend to. And I noticed that I got a comment on one of my videos. And the comment was, was so very delightful. Uh, it read something to the effect of, trash like you is why I hike deep into the woods. <laughs> oh my. You gotta love people that uh, are just going around in life so unhappy that they have to leave hate like that on a freaking YouTube video. But uh, it is what it is, guys. You know, I can take the fact that I'm invariably going to have a couple haters now and then. Anyway, I'm not about to let the haters mess up this fishing because I'm having a blast right now. So let's get it back out there, see what else we can find. It would be really cool if we could get a trifecta uh, at this little pool by pulling out a brown. So far, it's seeming like mostly brookies though. And, you know, frankly, I haven't caught too many brookies this year. So um, I'm having a lot of fun nabbing these guys. Let's get it right back out there. Oh, got one, guys. Got one. Ooh, that fish is pulling crazy hard. We'll get him right back in the water. Oh, yep, got one. Look at the beautiful markings in this fish. They're not par marks, but they, they kind of almost superficially look like par marks. All right, let's get him right back in the water. All right, guys, I think we all know the deal. Obviously, there's a lot of stalkers that have just uh, stacked up here. Sure, I could continue pitching this dry dropper rig over there again and again and again and again, and I could probably catch a ton more fish. But rather than just beating up on the fish in this same pool nonstop, you know, to no, to no end, why don't we kind of just move it along, see if we can work a little more variety in here, okay? So uh, let's start heading upstream. We're just gonna high stick it through this pool. So let's see if I can hold most of my line off the water. Oh, this fish is in the faster stuff. Bring him in here. This is a trifecta fish here, guys. If I can get him in. All right. All right. Not bad. Got him uh, running the nymph right through the tail out there. Kind of high stick it towards the tail out and gave that fly a little more dwell time and we got our brown to complete our trifecta. We have another pretty nice looking pool over here. Oh yeah. Beautiful little pool. Ooh. I have a feeling this is gonna be fun. Oh, we got a fish, guys. Nice trout. All right. Boy, I don't know what this guy was waiting for. I put that rig down through here so many times, probably a couple dozen times. I guess this guy was just uh, waiting for just the right drift, maybe. Maybe he just got tired of looking at my flies. <laughs> Said, damn it, I'm gonna eat these things and be done with it. It's funny guys, the way it works out sometimes, the way that a fish will just 
watch your rig go by so many times and and then you know when you're just about ready to give up on a spot all of a sudden that fish will hit in a spot that you've already put countless drifts through it's just the way it is sometimes that's why uh you know each spot you try to get it you know at least 10 minutes if you have the time um just to see if something's going to warm up to whatever you're offering you don't want to dwell at a spot too long if it's not productive. It's very easy to fritter away an enormous amount of time uh, that you should really be investing elsewhere, you know, in a place where there just really isn't any fish. But you always got to give it at least a little bit of time for certain. Ooh, got another one, guys. Got another one. Oh, it's a nice brookie. Sizable brookie. Awesome. Boy, these are some really solid brookies that the state put in here. Now, um, some of you guys may be wondering, like, oh, you know, are all those fish stockers? Or, you know, which ones are probably stockers, which ones probably aren't? Um, so to answer that question, I would say... 99% chance that they're 100% stockers. Um, although, of course, brook trout are native to Connecticut and, and browns do live wild in many streams in Connecticut. Um, the fact is, that, you know, they dump so many fish in here in the springtime that, you know, even if there is a smattering of wild fish mixed in, any given fish you catch, it's a pretty damn good bet that it's a stocker. Uh, so yeah, these are pretty much all stock fish, but the, the state is putting some fine brookies in this stream for certain. I mean, these are just some quality, quality brookies. And so much fun on the three weight here, getting them on this delicate little dry dropper. It's really a blast, guys. It really, really is. I encourage you to get out here and, and enjoy it. Have fun. Oh my God, this pool is epic. Such a beautiful looking streamer pool. I'm like running crazy low on time though. I have, uh, I don't know, five minutes. And I really gotta start heading back to my truck. But look at that pool, guys. I mean, come on now. Oh. You can see the giant stone wall over here, guys. Uh, that was part of what used to be uh, the old diamond match factory way back in the day. The factory, of course, is long gone now. But uh, a lot of the ruins from that from that factory are still here. guys i've used up much more time than i had so this is where we wrap it up had a great time here today at uh, eight mile brook i encourage you to get out here enjoy some of these trout yourself if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button if you like what i'm doing out here subscribe and i'll see you guys next time